Hello, welcome to Civilization 4, Set 4, Part 2, in which I am playing the Arabs or some such, Saladin, and I'm on this little tiny patch of land, looks like it's about the size and shape of Australia, exaggerated slightly, um, stuck up in the, near the North, North Pole somewhere, and I've got a pesky rival just here. I'm going to have to do something about that. And indeed, I'm going to have to start building another city. That I did, but where the heck can I settle? Up in all this tundra land? It doesn't look very good, does it? It's, he's got all the, all the good land. and there's not, there's not much of it, actually, on this continent at all. I may have to, to look at um, getting off this continent altogether, but that takes some doing. Um, might be nice to explore up around here, maybe. But I'm going to have to settle a city up here somewhere, and up here probably. Just make do with whatever I can from the tundra. There's some cows, they can help. So somewhere around here, perhaps. This city is working these two, these few tiles. One, two, so one, two, they could put a city here, say. Or somewhere up here. And hopefully get some benefit from it. Difficult to know, really, is that the land is so rub rubbish. <laughs> got a free, I've completed the oracles, so i got a free technology, metal casting, mm. horseback riding, I, ooh, iron working, I'm working on that anyway, E by gum. This is difficult. I'm going to go for horseback riding. I need horses. I'm going to prosecute a war, I think. And I probably am going to have to prosecute a war. This is the jolly old oracle. There we go. A free technology. That's what it gives you plus culture every turn. The Great War. I haven't had much pa pa pain with um, barbarians yet, really. Um, build another workboat quickly, then I'm going to start doing military. I think. The Great Wall protects you from barbarians. Oh, it increases great general emergence as well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looking for archer for now. Oh. Horseback riding, hooray, that was quick. As befits the oracle. That may mean that I can now build something more interesting than chariots. Indeed, I can. I can build horse archers. Chariots are good against axemen though, so I probably need a mixture. First, I need a stable because a stable boosts the effectiveness of your horsey units. Monarchy is also possibly something beneficial. Um, it's time I build a settler. So, the way I generally do it, I send them out there with a worker, an archer. To, to accompany them. So let's go into the city and I will build. Now I hold down shift this time so you can pile things into a queue. Worker, archer, settler. I'll build city walls right after that I think. Great wall. I can build it really quickly. Well, Alright, if, it, if, if, it, if it's uh, there, I'm going to send a settler out first. 
If I get to build a great wall, great. If I don't, well, I don't care too much. Build a mine, please. Right. Where are these? Oh, there's copper up there. That's a useful substance. Mm. Oh, some barbarian twerps. Unhappy, unhappy. I've got to build a flipping temple instead of military stuff. Oh dear. Conflict of priorities is always a real problem in this game, but of course, oh, I've got iron. Ah, this is now a strategic resource which I totally need. Hmm. Do I have any iron over here? It doesn't look like it. You can wait for the settler. Just send you off exploring, shall I now? Now they're up there. You can defend yourself from silly barbarian twerps. QED. Cottage. Um, I built my archer. There we go. So the settler coming up soon. Yeah, mine that iron. I'll probably lose it as soon as I start a war, though. So I've got, is there not another source of iron over here somewhere? Let's have a look. I've got this thing toggled so you could, it, it highlights the resources for you. You click on these things to see different stuff. You can see the grid, which I prefer. You can have a bear map with none of your civilization stuff on it. I show the productivity of each square with that one. I can hide the scores, but I like to know that I'm in the lead, and I can see what resources there are now. Is there any iron around? Well, oh, there's some iron there. Right, so I've got to settle up there and far. Oh, look, he's built another city. This so and so. All right, I've got to get that iron, otherwise I cannot prosecute a war. Settler, you're going up here somewhere. I'm going to shift my shift this to building horse archers. Alt. Keep building them. There we go. Oh, I've got a great prophet. Now I founded Buddhism, so one of my cities is the holy city, and I can build a funky person, a, a funky building. That allows my civilization to make money from all other cities that are Buddhist. But since I'm stuck on this continent with somebody I'm going to hopefully exterminate, I don't know how that, whether that will be helpful or not. <laughs> but we'll get on with it and see. There's iron up there as well, right. Another archer, let's defend this. Ooh. I need to build 11 stables in my various cities in order to get some special benefit. That's nice, but I don't have room for 11 cities, but I'll, you know, whatever. Iron up there. I suppose I could stick a temple up or a building up here somewhere. I don't know. A city, sorry. Right, okay. Now I click on him and I, I think it's control click, no, it is shift click to select his colleagues who are going to go with him and he's got to get this iron, no matter what. So he's got to settle up here somewhere, maybe right on it, I don't know. Let's move him to here, roughly speaking, and we'll see what's, what's recommended when I get there. Yes, you see, my prophet has reached the... 
I see Medina and I can build the temple. It gives me plus one per city with Buddhism. Gold, that is. It spreads Buddhism faster. can turn three citizens into priests to increase productivity. And can be built by a great prophet. Hooray! There it is, the Mahabodhi. So I guess if I go in here, I could potentially turn three citizens into priests. But it takes them off production. So it's a bit of a pain, really. But when the city's bigger, it might be worth it. Priests, as I say, they, they, are, they do increase productivity, give you hammers and um, stuff, but... Uh, It's good as an extra, but not as. I don't think it's a good idea just on its own, personally. That increases culture. If I'm going to have a long term victory, like a culture victory, as a possibility, I'll probably need a monastery in the long run. I need a temple at least, because of happiness problems in the city. See the little red guy there? Means they're not happy. Camp. Okay. He's built some iron. These guys, horses, sorry, they have a good withdrawal from contact, combat, but they're not much. They're okay against catapults, which haven't been invented yet, so withdraw from combat, ability, and snooze. Another source of iron. In a city in the middle of nowhere with nothing, it's like. Let's just start building Axemen Hot. And you... Good against melee units? Yeah, why not? And rest until you're well. <clears throat> Culture. Might as well, but... <clears throat> I need to be building. Okay, I've got monarchy. Let's have a look. Need to be building swordsmen if I'm going to take cities. I think. Military rule plus one happiness per military unit. That might fix things in the cities. City's working that square, so let's see what I can do there. I'll build a cottage there, I suppose. You can just explore at random, whatever. I've seen enough. Oh dear, you see, I should be building military units. Uh, no, let's build a stable. I'm going to military, 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 military. X-Men. They are good against melee units. I may use them for city attack. I think I'll stick with swordsmen for city attack. And these guys are just going to be strong against the enemy units. Because they're good against melee units, which is like other soldiers. Now if you look, you can see it's highlighting because I've chosen the option in the options here to show city, I think it's, 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 options, D 
city, uh, show city radius, there it is. I've got a few others selected, you can experiment with them as you like. It's recommending I'll plant a city there, but you can see I'm already working these squares, so that's no good at all. I think I should probably plant him right on the iron. However, if I look at the terrain up there, there's hills there that I can work for productivity. This is already in use. So let's move up a bit, at least one. Maybe two. Well, he's not going to overlap. Um, hmm. It's a bit difficult. Let's see. He's going to be working these squares, so those would be perfect. So I could s sit there, actually. And then I will be working those and these and those. And I would still get the iron once it's expanded. I'm assuming I can push him out of the way somehow. If it was there, I would get a hill. Got some grassland which potentially can grow some food eventually. This is very difficult. Mm. If I sit in here, he's, he's not going to be very productive. Uh, well, yeah. It's not going to grow very well, so I'm going to have to put him back here next turn. Go on back, you go. Oop, somebody else I found. Where is he? Trade, hooray, fish. It's all good. else to build now. More things to build. Oh dear. Well, I've got to get on with the war basically and then stuff everything else really well. One last thing for growth here. showed up right away, dear me. Settle anyway. Barracks. Archer can settle. And the worker can just pop down here and build a road. It'll connect up with the rest of my military then. Swordsman, that's what I want. Let's get on with it, shall we? Alt Swordsman. And here I will build Axemen. enough. But first, if I, if I use control click, it puts the thing I build in front of the queue, the lighthouse first, for growth, because now that I've got slavery, you have this extra thing here. I can spend three population to hurry the building of the lighthouse. But it takes it only takes um, two turns anyway, but The city's growing quite quickly. We'll see whether I need to do that or not. We 
This place is fully developed now, isn't it? It'd be nice if I could build some more cities, but I think I they're going to be so vulnerable here. That it's not really worth it. Um, that you go in there and you go to sleep for the moment. I'll save you for later. I could send him wandering around here to help out, I suppose, if I automate him. But he might undo some of the changes I've made elsewhere. So let's set the options. Automated workers leave old improvements. Now, automate. He'll run off, maybe, and do the rest. Axeman. Strength. There we go. Just sit here building Axeman slowly but surely. What do I need? Compass for the sea. Alphabet. Polytheism. Oh dear. Oh dear. Code of laws, maybe. He wants open borders. Yeah, okay. But I'm going to exterminate you soon. City attack, that's what he's for. And I'm going to move him up to Baghdad. In fact, there is a way, and I can't remember it, to make this a rallying point so that units that you build automatically go there. But then I don't know how to undo the rallying point. But anyway, I'll just do it manually for the moment. Maybe I'll look it up in between sets or something. Um, I think I have worked everywhere. I haven't worked here, have I? Pretty much fully developed, isn't it? Churning them out in numbers now, because I've allowed these cities to grow. That's nice, but I'm busy. If I were him watching this, I'd be a little nervous now. He's got his own special unit skirmishers, which are quite strong by the looks of it. I have open borders now, so I could send a guy in to have a look at how well defended his city is. Car system might be interesting. I can increase the numbers of specialists uh, without pre-qualifying for them. Um, but slavery allows me to sacrifice population for production, which I may need in the prosecution of a war. I'm going to stick with it. Myself a nice source of iron. Oh, what's this guy doing? Okay. 
place to see. One, two, one, two. Four. I haven't built a mine here, have I? Let's do it. But then it'll chop down a forest for to no great benefit, because I'm building a swordsman every turn anyway. When you chop down the forest, you get 20 extra production points in the city. Got the skirmishers there. Got the skirmishers there. It looks like there's another city over here, so let's go and have a look. City attack. Go. I'm thinking the Axemen will be good against the Skirmishers, because the Skirmishers are melee units. I've done the basic development for this. I, I will want to put a... Oh, there's iron up there as well. It's, I could be a bit you know, cautious and go for that too. Put a city up here somewhere. There's room for a couple of cities up there somehow. But let's at least start building a road up here, shall we? There. A barbarian on my horses, let's just kill him. Another city, army. He's spreading out like crazy here. Build a lighthouse and then if I do shift. And I'll just do alt these guys archers. But I'll build a lighthouse first with control click. There we go. Chichen Itza will be good because that increases your city defences. I don't think I have time to build it. Skirmisher warrior. He's spreading out like crazy. I've got to deal with this pronto. What would be useful, I suppose. Um, you must just garrison that point, protect it, I don't know. What have we got here? Axe man, right. 
Think I can get somewhere with my current army? I might. Shall I? Let's head off then to war. If I go to all units of the same type. These axe men, shift click to select a whole bunch of units. I kind of feel I need more swordsmen just for the early days, so let's shift from axe men to swordsmen for the moment. Alt, click. Let's see what else you might have. What? Can I get alphabet? And then I declare war on him immediately, yes? All right. Aqueduct, how long will that take to build? Three turns. Oh well, alright. We'll build the aqueduct, but I will sacrifice some population to get it done quickly. Hooray! Then we'll go up, and after that I'll do the swordsman. This city's probably the same, to be honest. Let's just... Aqueduct. Sacrifice some population, hooray! Six population! Oh my god, we're starving anyway, so let's go. It's a bit cruel, but this was the economic system of the day, I'm afraid. library but unfortunately I have to build a ton of swordsmen because I'm going to be declaring war at any minute. Just arrived, so let's just skip a turn. Skip a turn. Skip a turn. Let's see if we can't. We might as well rebuild that camp. To make that worker now. I've done enough automatic, I'll we'll figure it out. Swordsman, come on, join the crew. <coughs> Let's start a war, shall we? <coughs> Him. Oh dear, well I better just go back. 
Honestly, I've got to declare war. Okay. That'll make you sick. I want to declare war, I have to go to Mansa Musa. And so let's discuss something else. Have we got anything I could steal from you first? So all my units, here we go, have been shifted outside of his territory. That's a bit of a pain. So that's the way it goes. So in that case, 45 at the moment. You have built, you better build a road there. You can build a camp there. And you can head off in the general direction of the war. clicks possible. You build a road. There you go. I just, just made a great profit, as it were. I can work towards technology, I can start a golden age. That might be a thing to do. A golden age increases your productivity for 10 days. I've just started a war. No, so let's go for it. It increases productivity, it increases food production, it's generally good stuff, but only for 10 turns, which is nothing really. Uh, autumn age, happy. There we go. Do 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 do. Can improve my farms a bit right now. Everybody, attack! Attack! Yes, install a new governor. And what shall I build there? Walls, barracks, temple. I don't know. I mean, improving culture in a city does help them stick, but. I'm going to be fully garrisoning it anyway. A barracks helps to repair your units when they're damaged, but I'll build a temple first because I don't want it reverting back to him too easily. Just fortify these guys for the moment. All right. So they're going to go there as a matter of course. Whoops. That's going to be my new rallying point as it were. Who's this guy? Uh, automate. Thank you. But I will let them up do change my improvements now because I haven't done much in the way of specialising those cities. And I've now got some irrigation so they can spread that a bit. Irrigation allows me to build a set of cottages here. I can build more farms. But it may the game may decide I need a balance of cottages and farms and stuff. Baghdad is not going to grow very quickly, but it needs to be able to defend itself. Oh, I've got iron there as well, right. Mm. 
archer versus skirmisher. That's a tough. That's a tough move. It may stop him plundering the place. Uh oh. Oh, got him. Good. Well, he's not city defending now, he's just going to be defending, so. Give him some more strength against melee units, perhaps. Or just garrison that iron for me. You can plunder the cows here. I'll leave a horse and a chariot and, and to defend that city marginally. Oops. Yeah, and oh, the, the clicking system is baffling to me here. I never quite work it out. Oh, right, okay, well, hmm. What have we got then? Swordsmen ought not to improve their city attack. Whichever ones happen to have that benefit. Be better. Any of you guys have a benefit? Nope. Aye. Goodness sake. I want to just select certain units, not all of them. You see how it, it does it? Right. Okay, that's enough. Let's get up onto the hill here. with catapults. Okay, where are you guys coming from exactly? Most religion, what does that do? <coughs> Helps me build buildings faster, but well, that could be useful afterwards. I don't want to have a revolution right now. Oh, there's no anarchy in my civilization. It's one of my advantages, so I can switch straight away. We get killed if he goes too near to the city. What can I plunder? I can check that he's not using those horses, actually. If I don't get this city, I'll have to start building catapults, probably, because they'll it'll become too hard to attack. And for that I need more cities really, you know. But let's just start building catapults. They're great for wearing down city defences. These odds it shows on the left hand side of the screen when I right click on the target. Because combat odds 0.1%, retreat odds 50%. I don't find them very reliable. Um, 
But how's he defended? See, he's only got a few units to defend, so I've got loads to attack, so I should be able to exterminate those. Yes, that's his capital city gone. Again, I'm going to build um, a temple in there. building up a kind of a second army in the background here now. More units into the city, please. So these are two melee guys. Um, it might be worth setting them to heal faster, actually, rather than anything else. They heal other units around them extra 10% a turn as well, so they'd be good guys to have. I don't have many units left. You see, a lot were killed in that battle. I'm going to have to build up my forces again, which I'm doing. Probably with 13 turns to build a um, swordsman. Is there anything I can do? The city has so little production because it's not growing. It's only got two spare citizens. It's not even working. I am. Oh. Well, you know, it's unlikely to get attacked now, isn't it? Um, it's it can't build these guys fast enough, even with slavery. Worth the bother, it might as well start building culture or something. Those chariots are good against X-Men, but they're still lost. Yeah. We're attacking him across the river, the, 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 the animation doesn't show it. So he may be okay. No. Dead. Oh, well. Sure, matey. Trade? Oh. Not available. Nothing to trade with him either, all right. Fat lot of use, really. Let's just keep charging in here. So the production is really going great guns, as it were, great swords, I suppose I should say, in this era. Oh, and I've gone over my half an hour limit for the game again, haven't I? Oh, 
All right, that's, that's that is um, number two, episode two. Um, I'll see you in part three.